Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we'll consider a continuous time system y of t which is equal to x square of t. The task is to determine is this, is this system time invariant or not. To begin with, the definition of time invariance says that a shift in the input must lead to an identical shift in the output. So what we do initially is we'll consider a shift in the input and we already know that x of t x of t is the input and y of t is the output and we also understand that the nature of the system is squaring. So whatever we feed in so I'll consider this system and I'll feed this with an input x of t. So whatever I feed it mul it squares and gets you the output. So y of t is equal to x square of t. So the nature of the system is squaring. So to begin with I'll consider an input x of t and a shift in the input x of t minus t naught. Now I give this to a system of, operate, of operator h so that I'll get the output y of t. So the nature of the system says that it squares and gets you the output. So if I feed x of t, I get x square of t. Similarly, if I feed x of t minus t naught, I have to get x square of t minus t naught in the first half. So next we'll consider a shift in the output. That is y of t minus t naught. I already have the expression for y of t. To get y of t minus t naught, I have to replace every t with t minus t naught in the expression of y of t. So therefore I get y of t minus t naught is equal to x square of, so t is there, I replace that with t minus t naught. This is there in the second half. As these two are equal, we can say that the given system is time invariant.